Hey, I'm Shoshana Rapley, you can call me Sho for short, and I'm a PhD candidate at ANU's Fenner School of Environment and Society, and I spend most of my time out here on Ngunnawal country at Mulligan's Flat Woodland Sanctuary, which is where we're standing right now. Mulligan's Flat is a box gum grassy woodland, which means it's characterised by two types of trees, yellow box, and there's a few of them behind me over there, and Blakely's red gums. And those two trees together, collected with these grasses and shrubs, make up this ecosystem which is critically endangered, which is why we're protecting it here, learning about what makes it tick and how best to restore them here and in other parts of the country. So I'm doing my PhD on bush stone curlews. They're not a bush or a stone or a curlew, but they are a weird woodland bird standing about 50 centimetres tall. And their nickname is murder bird because they have this eerie call that they do in the night time being nocturnal and their local name is Warrabin in Ngunnawal language. Uh, they went extinct in the ACT in the 1970s and we've been putting them back here since 2014. So ecosystems are by nature systems, they're interconnected things with lots of threads. So when you affect one part of that system, it can have direct impacts on other things and indirect impacts that flow down the line. Humans do a lot of actions that impact ecosystems and direct things can be when we target a species. So for example, Hubara bustards are endangered because of hunting for sport and bluefin tuna are endangered because of overfishing. And these are actions where we directly target a species. Sometimes indirect things happen where we don't even mean to impact a species, but it's still detrimental to their populations. Uh, and so this is when we introduce species, for example, or even diseases. Chytrid fungus is a great example of that, and I say great uh, in maybe inverted commas because it's not a good thing. Chytrid fungus is a pathogen, a fungus that gets into the skin of amphibians, uh, and that causes them to become sick and die, and over 40% of the world's amphibians have been affected, and dozens of species have become extinct, six or seven in Australia already. And humans didn't mean to spread chytrid around the world, it was by accident. It was from commercial trade of frogs, and the theory is that it came from Africa, but we don't know because we didn't mean to move it around. But we still have to deal with the consequences of that and the declines that have happened to the world's amphibians because of chytrid fungus.